Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more Star Wars Micro Machines. Today we're looking at the transforming action set of Luke Skywalker slash Hoth. I am down to just two of these. There's this one and then there's the Boba Fett Cloud City and then that's it for the 90s regular original trilogy Star Wars. I've got plenty of episode one coming up, don't worry. I've, I'm have i like two sets away from com three sets away from completing the entire episode one collection and when i do i'm gonna dive into it hard so if you like the micro machines make sure you are subscribed and if you like seeing these videos let me know by clicking that thumbs up button it lets me know that i should be doing more content like this here on the channel so like i said if you like it then like the video now before we get into the unboxing I like to, you know, go over the box art, talk about that kind of stuff. So let me get my little secondary camera ready here, and let's do it. All right, take a look at that artwork. That's a really cool painting. Now, one thing you might notice compared to some of my other uh, videos is this box is beat up. Look at that. It is very beat up. All the edges are all like, coming undone. That's because I got this for a really good deal. I actually paid less than that. So I got this and another set that I already had a duplicate, but I got two of these total for $20 shipped. So it ended up being about 10 bucks if you split it in half like that. But let's take a look back at the artwork here. Cool little AT-AT -AT walkers, or some people call them at-ats. Nice little snow speeder zooming by. I like that they have the harpoon thing going on. Who's that 2-1-B? Little back to tank going there. Check out this kid, he's super stoked. Luke Skywalker transformed into Ice Planet Hoth. And there's a little preview of what's gonna be Featured inside there. Let's see what does the side say. See again, beat up box. We have a back to tank, snow speeder, a couple other things. What do we got on this side? Lots more of the same. And what about up top? Luke Skywalker transforms into the Ice Planet Hoth Battle Fortress. Features back to rejuvenation tank and snow speeder with trip cable. That's that's an iffy state. There should be an asterisk on there. Uh, includes Imperial ATAT -AT and six authentic figures. Let's look at the figures. There's a Han Solo, Wedge Antilles, Luke Skywalker, Imperial Snow Trooper. Check out the AT-AT, already roped up. That's what I said, there should be an asterisk with the cable, because he's already tied up. There's a Princess Leia Organa figure and a Tauntaun with nobody riding him. Just a plain Tauntaun. Now, I've been told that supposedly there's a variant with a different, like a Han Solo wearing black as opposed to brown. So that's something to keep in mind and look out for. Apparently mine is the one with brown. And again, they did have a couple different versions of the artwork. These are the newer ones. And this has, actually is one of the newer ones that came out, I believe, in 97. Let me see if I'm right here. Uh, yeah, different times in 1997. There's my year. And again, let's let that focus and let's see all the good stuff. A couple previews of some of the other items. Oh, look at that, the book collection. If you guys want to see that, let me know. I actually own it, but I haven't unboxed it yet. How do you guys feel about these x-ray fleets? I was thinking about collecting them, but I'm like, they're action fleet, and I don't know how you guys feel. If you want to see those again, always let me know what you want to see next. Um, more previews of all the different amazing sets that they've come out with. And in fact, all of these, every single one except for that one, but almost every single one, I have unboxed and done a video of here on the Dano channel. So check the playlist, go watch the channel if you want to learn more about any of those because they're here. All right, take a look at that. He's got his cool guy sunglasses. Let's start at the bottom left like I always do. Snow speeder with cable to trip. Imperial AT-AT. So it does have a cable sticking out the back, but it's not like a real cable. So there's the Imperial AT-AT, Imperial Snow Trooper. I'm gonna keep going up. Wedge Antilles, I like that it's specifically Wedge. Uh, Princess Leia Organa. I like that it's not Princess Leia, it's Princess Leia Organa. It's kinda cool. Uh, Luke Skywalker in his cool guy pose. A very peculiar figure that fits just in that back to tank perfectly. Uh, back to rejuvenation tank. Han Solo. Oh, look. Look in the picture artwork. He's wearing a darker color like black. Huh? Huh? All right. And then last we have a Tauntaun. And that's it. That's a I do like that it comes with a snow trooper. That is not a very common figure. I think it's the only way to get the snow trooper. So that is pretty cool. All right, guys. Now let's get into this unboxing. You know what? I think I need an X-Acto knife. All right, now as I'm opening this up, I always point out, I always open them on the figure side just because it's easier to uh, either put them back or get them out. It's just a little bit easier. But I like to mention to you guys, 
the whole Amazon thing there. Uh, in fact, some of you have been buying stuff on Amazon using my links, and I definitely appreciate it. Uh, the way that works is I go through the trouble, and I find this item on Amazon, and I put it up for sale, and there's a little affiliate link. So if you buy this product or any product, it could be bottles of water, it could be socks, it could be anything on Amazon. Uh, whatever you spend, I get a couple pennies off the dollar for each thing. I don't know what the exact percentage is. In fact, I think it varies depending on how many people use it. So the more people use it, the more it helps the channel. Like I said, even if you spend $5 on something and you go through one of my links first before you get to that item, it does help support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything extra, which is why I like it and why I push it because you guys don't have to do anything other than what you're already doing. Just start on one of my links and you're good to go. All right, let's take some close-ups. You guys got to see what's in here. It's it's a lot of the a lot of the normal, you know, just the usual, but there's there's some cool stuff. All right. Take a look here. Look at those stickers. Those are gorgeous. I like them. Look at oh, see I that this is the stuff I like seeing. Take a look at this. I like seeing these little like mini painted murals. That is so cool. And then take a look at that one. You can see all the AT-ATs and one circled, like one it's being aimed at. You can see inside the cockpit, camera two right there. And then camera one is above Hoth. Camera three is an explosion going on. Just all these little details and stuff are really cool. So a lot of those go on the outside of the helmet. In fact, take a look here on my desk. I have one already. It's not the same one that's in this box. There's actually still one in this box unopened. I just happen to have an extra minus the glasses that I picked up in a sale. So you can kind of see some of the stuff in there. It is missing some pieces, but we'll get into that in just a second. Now, as I mentioned, I do already have a version of this, but it is missing some pieces. So what I'm going to do with this unboxing in particular, all these nice wrapped up ones that don't have stickers on them, I am not going to, uh, I'm not going to put the stickers on there. I'm just not. I'm, I just want to, I want to save these stickers intact, if at all possible. I always do full unboxings. In this case, I don't have to because I actually have the whole thing ready to go and I don't need any of these stickers. So I'm going to save them because like I said, I really, I really do like them. I think they're really, really cool. And so, I mean, just so you guys can see, there's the pieces that are in there. It's a head, it's a face, but this one right here with the glasses, there's a little like glasses thing that goes above his face as well as the back to tank itself that I'm going to open up. Because I don't have to put a sticker on it, and that will actually make this set complete. And I want you guys to see this set in its completeness. So it's, it's just a couple little pieces I'm going to put off to the side here. Let's see here. So I got I got my glasses, and the glasses actually just clip right onto the front. Okay, my glasses just clip right on there. There we go. And there he has his glasses there. Cool guy. Cool guy thing there. Uh, oh, and I lost everybody. Everybody just fell out. Now, I think I'm missing maybe one or two little characters. I could be wrong. I'll have to compare in just a second and see. Let's let's take a look here. I believe I've got everybody. I do have everybody. Perfect. So when I bought this one, this other one that I got, like I said, I got it as a lot. I saw it at like a toy store or something like that with a bunch of other stuff. I think it ended up costing me just about $4 for this one. So I got one heck of a deal. And that brings me to another important point about these Micro Machine sets. That is why I like them. That's actually one of the biggest reasons that I like these things is they're not a hot collector item. They're really not. Not, not everybody even knows these things existed or picked them up or collected them as a kid. A lot of you do. There's a lot of you who watch these videos regularly and you guys are all about the Micro Machines, which is cool because that's, that's me. That's how I was. But... The thing is, like, these were not hot items. They're really easy to find nowadays. I think I got that back to tank in place. Could be wrong. I don't want to break anything. But I'm pretty sure it's in there as best as it can. All right, good enough. But that's that's my point with these things, is that they're not, they're not heavily sought-after items. But you get so much bang for your buck on these things. You get so many cool figures you get wedge antilles i'm gonna put him on there you get a snow trooper this one set i mean it cost me four dollars used in the beginning it cost what 13.99 so like 14 to 15 bucks for one of these sets i think on the higher end they hit like 17 dollars but still still for what you're getting you're getting a bunch of figures sure they're tiny but you're not only getting figures you're getting vehicles in this case two vehicles we have a snow speeder and we have the atat 
if I remember correctly. I can plop that in there. Good. And you get cool action features. Like there's just there's so much going on in these little sets that it's just it's it's amazing. It's really amazing and I love it. I'm so glad that like I get to re spend all my time with these things again and get to relive it and share it with you guys who may not have ever known that these even existed. Now, like I normally like to do, I like to set it up just like the back of the box so you guys can see here. There we go. We've got our Leia, Luke, Wedge, Han, Tauntaun, Snow Speeder, Snow Trooper, and then, oh, this needs to come around here. Doop. Okay, that looks like perfect. Same, 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 and same, right? So here we get to see some of our stickers in effect. And I, lo I love that she, like, she's just fleeing. She has this, like, running. Because really when they're on Hoth, that's all you get to see them do. You guys want to see the back to tank in effect? Here we go. Here's the back to tank. Oh, see, I knew I didn't have it on there all the way. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, user error. User error. Okay, now I got the back to tank fixed now that I pulled everybody off. We can just throw them down there in the bottom. But take a look. There's the back to tank. There's Luke swimming and all that good back to goodness. Pretty cool looking, right? And then you push down on this. And he pops up. He's like, oh, I'm saved. I'm refreshed. And again, there's the hanger. There's all those cool stickers and stuff that I saw from earlier. It kind of stinks that the back to tank does block them. And it's not easy to get this out once it's in. So that is something like this whole sticker back here of the AT-ATs kind of gets lost. And it's, it's kind of a bummer. But the, and enough about this back piece. Enough about the back piece. Let's talk about one of the coolest features in any of these sets. All right. Now, in this one, it looks like that little cable piece is not sculpted on there, or it fell off or something. Interesting. In the video, you can, or in the picture, you see there's a little bitty cord hanging off the back. This one doesn't have it so much, but it does have this little button piece. You see this? I'm going to pull it out. It's hard to do one-handed, but... Oh, 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 we missed, we missed. Try again. Oh, okay, something's not working here. There, I got a better grip on it. Ready? Boom, and it knocks them over. So again, you just reset that by popping this thing in there. It goes right in, and he swivels, and his head does move a little bit. There we go, see his head does move. And again, you get your snow speeder ready. Pull it out, full capacity, and you let go, and it knocks it over. Really cool feature for a really cool set. Now I'm gonna close it up and show you guys the outside, because I don't really think I did it justice before. So you guys can see all the different stuff. Now again, this one's a little more beat up. You can see some scuff marks. But it works with the uh, Rebel Helmet because he's normally is kind of scuffed. Looks like maybe he could use a face wash. Um, there's a little bit of damage there. That's okay. And notice his nose. This is one of the things that happens. It happened to this one. It happened to my Chewbacca who's up here. Um, not this one because I barely used him. But the more you use these toys and the more you open them and you put them down the more it wears on their nose area, so the outsides do get a little ruined. That's one of the downfalls to this kind of toy, is that normal wear and tear will kind of chip away at the paint over time. So, like I said, they're collector's pieces, but they're also really, really cool toys. Guys, let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below. How would you rate this? Do you have a favorite one of the transforming heads? If so, I want to know which one it is. Because at some point, I think I'm going to do a video of my favorites, where we'll go over every single one that I like and I'll kind of rank them. But, you know, it's, that's for the future. That's for later. All right, and real quick, another thing I wanted to do was take the character and the figures and put them on the other Hoth set. So you can see I've got, like, Wedge hanging out over here in the hangar. I've got a snow speeder on his way. I just wanted to see what they kind of looked like when you put them in the other setting. I think they look good. I think they look really cool. I like this. This is awesome. So, again, we have two Hoth play sets but Hoth right next to Hoth. Different colors of ice, so that's interesting. This is more like a blue, that one's more of a white. So again, made many years later, over five years difference between the two of those sets. But that's just kind of how those figures look in their more natural, snowy setting. I love it. I love these things. Guys, again, leave a thumbs up if you like these videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, may the Force have with you, and goodbye forever.